You recording? You recording? Okay, good. This is Roof Pitch 101. So a couple practical ways in which you can determine the pitch of a roof. So I'm talking about an addition onto this shop. I have a slope here or a pitch of rise over run that I don't necessarily know. Rise over run is what it is. So I gotta figure this out. Easiest way to do it, if you, if you can get up next to it, either on the inside, like in the attic, or on the outside, is to use a level, mark off a one foot increment. So from the end of the level to the edge here is one foot. And then level this off of the end. So a little tricky here. Level off the end and then we want a, our spirit to be in the center. And then we're going to measure the distance from here to here. So let's see if I can get everything to line up. Pretty close to level. I'm at a seven and a half inch mark. So that would tell me that for every seven and a half inches that this goes up, it goes over 12 inches. My pitch of my roof would be seven and a half, 12. Is there another way that I can verify that? Certainly, I can use my speed square here and because I already have a built structure, I can hold the speed square up to a pivot point, which is right here down on the end. And then I can look at where the degrees, the common degrees, can you zoom in? This is upside down, but look at where the common degrees line up and it's between an eight and a seven pitch, right at seven and a half. Now my plum cut here is not very good on the end. So if I put a level on that, my, my sight is way off here. It should actually be something like that. So I can't go off of this. Let's just look at one more way we can do that. If we go off of this pivot point here and we wanna figure out the slope, if we line this up and use a torpedo level or our four footer on the bottom, as an aid to our speed square and just pivot until we're level and I'm level right now with the sight bubble that comes right in between an eight and a seven so I have a seven and a half twelve pitch right there okay uh, finally you got a couple options that are um, inside the device that's recording me and that's a smartphone you can use an angle finder or they actually have apps that use the camera and you would shoot the gable end and it will line that up and tell you what's, what the slope of the roof is. Wind noise! Okay, scene. Are you recording? Are you recording? Okay, good. So your second option to calculate uh, roof slope or pitch is to use an app. Pitch factor. And it asks to use my permission. No, I'm not telling you where I am. But the uh, it, it is a slope calculator, so you use that line and through the phone... I would line up on my slope, and I don't know if I can zoom. No, can't zoom. Um, I can move closer, but if I line up right on the edge, this tells me 7.1. Let's try going out into the sun and squaring up with it. Right there is 7.342, depending on how close I can get to actually lining up with it. It's not bad, not bad. It's not giving me that true seven and a half, 12 that I know it is, um, but it works. So if you can demonstrate the use of, now this is kind of tough. I don't know what you do if you screenshot it, maybe that would work. So you could hold it up, get the angle to be right, and then grab a screenshot, Wapa. And we get, oh no, I just went to this. Uh, that would work, or just download it and use it. But it's pretty handy for estimation and to get a general idea of how steep something is. And from then there we can calculate surface area so we can figure out uh, how many shingles we got to put on it or just how steep it is can we walk it typically you can't walk more than 10 12 pitch you'll fall off too steep so that's it See. let's take a look at something else uh, on the 8x12 a uh, little math challenge for you if I wanted to figure out the pitch of this roof uh, what the pitch was so what is my rise over run that's how we calculate pitch rise over run I can pull from the ceiling here, and I have got an 18 inch rise, give or take an inch. And if I extend this all the way out, excuse the rough video work here, I get out to about a 54 inch to center, and I've got a, a center mark there. I get out to about a 54 inch center. So I've got an 18 to 54. So what, is that, what does that pitch end up being as a rise over run?